Blizzard gets tossed around a lot, at least once a winter season, as soon as a big snowstorm's about to hit, and that description is usually wrong. So what is a blizzard, besides a delicious dairy treat from a certain ice cream monarch? I'm Storm Street Meteorologist Jason Myers, and blizzards have a very specific, difficult set of criteria to meet before they can be categorized as this type of winter storm, and it has more to do with wind and visibility than it does with snow. According to the National Weather Service, blizzards are winter storms with frequent winds of 35 miles an hour or higher with falling or blowing snow that reduces visibility to a quarter mile or less. That means it doesn't even have to be snowing for a blizzard to occur, but all these conditions are expected to last for a minimum of three hours. That's a long time for any one storm. Even the day after tomorrow was over in a little more than two hours. I'm afraid that time has come and gone, my friend. But that little time requirement is what usually disqualifies most winter storms from being classified as a blizzard. It's more common for a snowstorm to have blizzard conditions for a short while, but lasting the entire three hours is much more rare. But when the United States does see a blizzard, they're most common in the Northern Plains, Midwest, and in the Northeast. If you're unfortunate enough to witness one of these blizzards, stay inside and stay warm. If you're stuck in your car, stay inside, keep it running about 10 minutes every hour for the heat, and make sure the exhaust is clear of snow to avoid gas poisoning. Have you been through a blizzard and lived to tell the tale? Let me know about it in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.